as we have seen in the previous session that is the how this uh, coaching and the role of coaching into the uh, goal, abilities, uh, the standards, perceptions and all these are very, very important. Now, the question arises uh, that is the whenever we are talking about the uh, effective leadership or the team effectiveness, then definitely we have to understand um, that is the uh, how this uh, uh, coaching and it, it, it is to be applied. So, the grow coaching model is there, the stepper model is there, then the how to become a better coach, mentoring in its features process, mentoring techniques are the models are there merits and demerits of mentoring is there, coaching and mentoring versus training, the six things great mentors for the differently and as usual we will discuss in this particular session the case studies, research papers and the book recommendations. Now, the coach right, so therefore, in that case uh, we will like to take the example uh, of uh, uh, the three coaches and the mentors. Uh, so, then at the end we will decide whether the, they were only coaches or only mentors or they were coaches and mentors are there. So, that is the Sri Krishna Arjuna is there right, Lord Sri Krishna and Arjuna that is the how that coaching has been done. Similarly, we will see that Chanakya and Chandragupta is there and then we will talk about the Dronacharya and Eklavya also uh, in between we will take as an example is there right. So, therefore, it is designed to assist the motivated individuals. Um, now, now it, it, they, you see every word is to be carefully understood. Now, motivated because many times we create this uh, particular perception that is the coaching is not uh, giving any result or why coaching is giving the uh, not that much results what we are expecting even after uh, whether this uh, uh, the uh, learner has given the 100 percent or the coach has given the 100 percent, but uh, why then there are not the results are there right. So, these are the their uh, individuals uh, that motivation level that is becoming very, very important is there and it is a training method in which a more experienced uh, or the skilled individuals provides an employee with advice and guidance uh, intended to the develop the individual skills, performance and career is there. Now, you see when the experienced person when he is sharing. Uh, simple example I would like to give about in the management institutes you find that is we invite the speakers right and uh, those speakers are highly experienced uh, and uh, they, they, they give the advice and guidance to these MBA graduates and that is the how they can proceed uh, for uh, their further career development or their job performances right. So, therefore, in that case it, it is very, very important uh, that is the whenever we are talking about this coaching. Um, they and the motivated uh, learners are required and the person who is sharing that particular experience and knowledge that is becoming uh, um, uh, and uh, providing the guidance right that plays a very important role. So, in these um, executive development is a high potential prospects for the purpose of the succession planning is there um, and when we see and that is the uh, always I talk about it is now we, we have just talked about the goals right and then the goals and then the uh, there will be the hierarchy organization structure is there and from that organization structure the everybody wants to go up next level and therefore, that particular uh, that succession planning. So, that the person when he goes up when he goes to the next level whether he is able to perform or he is not able to perform because uh, uh, many times we see uh, that is the uh, people are getting the opportunity to perform, but they fail to perform. And there was a high motivation for that uh, uh, particular goal right and then in spite of that high motivation when the goal is achieved then that sustainability of the goal right that is becoming the challenging and therefore, in that case these management development programs uh, that that helps that is the uh, how to achieve and how to make it sustainable. So, therefore, this developing the skills to motivate uh, the collective efforts are required and, uh, and this collective collective means that is about from that particular mentor and mentee or the coach and the learners and therefore, that motivation is highly motivation is required and here is the role of the HR professionals are there. Now, here I will not say that is it is HR department 
right? It is the HR professionals. Who are the HR professionals? Whether it is the finance or marketing or operations or IT is there, but the person is very good into the HR skills. So, a finance manager can also be very good into as, as a HR professional. Right, a marketing person can also be good uh, as a HR professional is there. So they have for that support. Uh, uh, now you see, you may not be from the HR, but if uh, you are working uh, uh, into an another vertical, and then in that vertical, the boss, supreme boss, he has that coaching approach. Now you see, that is a to be the coach, uh, that is also requires a certain abilities, right? And then uh, in that case, uh, uh, those coaches, they, they are becoming the world famous coaches and they are becoming, because they are developing, they are developing ability to develop, right, so that talent, right. So therefore, in that case, uh, it is the initiatives, uh, although organization must take care, that is uh, such efforts do not amount to unlawful discrimination. Now, the, now you see, every model every theory, every concept, every practice, every society is having advantages, disadvantages, the plus, minus, strengths, weaknesses, right. So, therefore, when the coach is in the position, then he should be very judicious. If he is not judicious, then he may involve into unlawful discrimination and then as a result of which the organization will suffer. So, cross-cultural coaching is very Im important is there. Nowadays, we talk about the global, not the global. I will uh, not talk about the gl global marketplace. I will talk about for in Indian context, uh, in today's context, I would like to say it is a global market is there. And therefore, in that case, uh, uh, when we have to do the business globally by remaining ro locally and therefore for our country, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, it is the, uh, we have to understand the culture of other countries also, but simultaneously, we have to be the strong in carrying out our culture also. So, therefore, uh, when we are working into the cross-cultural aspects, uh, that is about uh, uh, interacting with uh, other cultures and carrying out our Indian culture, then definitely in that case, uh, it becomes very, very important, uh, that is we are becoming the local coach, right. Now, here from this book, uh, we have taken this particular model that is the um, grow coaching model is there, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, again, the uh, that uh, every leader and uh, team effectiveness, uh, it depends on the goal, that what is the goal is there and then that is a reality is there and uh, then there is an options and there is a will is there, motivation is there, right. Um, so, we uh, this was created by the Sir John Whitmore and the colleagues in the late 1980s. Uh, and has become one of the most popular coaching model for setting the goals are there, right. And um, whenever we are talking about uh, um, that is the uh, uh, what do you want, like we have just uh, talked about in the previous session also um, about the goals, right. So, then when we talk about the gaps, so that is the um, goals and the abilities and perception and standards are we have talked about. So, ultimate, uh, ultimately what motivates a person establish the goal right and defining the goal. Now, you see many times we ask the people that is a design your goal and they are not very comfortable in designing their goal. Why? Because it is, is it that they were leading the life the way it is going on? Are they, uh, are they not serious? They are serious, they are serious about the life, but they do not know right because nobody has motivated inspired them that is the what they want uh, to de design and de de develop a particular goal is to be there now you know you will that find it is the uh, how the person will be able to identify that is the uh, my goal what should be my goal the first and foremost question to the guru mentor coach that will be what should be my goal right so, that fixation of the goal as we have talked about in the gaps also, that is the fixation of goals will be on the mutual discussion, right. Here I would also like to add one more dimension and that is about the happiness. So, therefore, the goals are not to be achieved with the lot of confrontations, lot of sacrifices. 
if lot of sacrifices and the lot of confrontation is there, so even when you will achieve the goal, you will be empty heads and therefore, we have to understand the reality, examine the reality right? and they are causing issues recognizing the strengths, qualities and resources that may help uh, that is what really I have. Right? Now, there will be the number of options will be there and therefore, options for moving the challenges the individuals are group with the imaginative questions uh, co coaching questions will be there that we will see further also in, in this discussion. Then the establish the will is there. Now, that uh, we have a list of options agree on the actions that is the what here. So, like I would like to give my uh, example like uh, I was in industry and then there was a question of the goal and then uh, uh, the answer was academics and then uh, I shifted to the academics when I got the opportunity of academics uh, I, I, I uh, 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 inquired from myself within myself right and therefore the answer has come that is the I want to my goal to be the academician and therefore I turned to be the academician so uh, the 26 years back. So, therefore, in that case uh, it becomes very, very important uh, that is the whenever you are deciding about your uh, uh, these goals uh, and then uh, identifying that is what is the reality is there and then uh, in that case uh, it is the what opportunities are uh, options are available to you and on basis of those options uh, you take the actions are there. Similarly, there was the another model has been introduced in the 2003 by this CHEPA. This is a coaching and mentoring the model developed uh, and therefore, it is talking about the subject, target, emotions, perception, plan, pace and the action is there. And there here also the Dr. Angus McClure, he acts as a process by which the context and emotion of a, a situation or issues can be used uh, to define and act towards the new goals are there. <coughs> now, here uh, I would like to have your attention on the new goals. Now, because I, 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 you see that is the goals and then last time I have discussed these are the realistic and then flexible also. So, when you, you, you start your journey and then uh, on the mid of the journey you find that is you have to uplift your goal right and therefore, there will be the new goals will be there. So, therefore, this uh, uh, step part it is the subject and target emotions, perception, plan, pace and the action. And this primary utilized uh, as a technique when there are the difficult emotions uh, in play which need to be the overcome and uh, the, the person that a person has to decide the person has to decide it is the uh, how he how uh, how further he wants to go to achieve this particular goals and therefore in that case uh, uh, this particular model um, uh, that that will help right so when when we we, when we talk about the grow uh, therefore in that case uh, that is a growth reality and options are there so therefore uh, naturally we can develop also that is uh, what will be the our uh, uh, the the goal which we want to uh, achieve. The first and foremost step in this CHEPA uh, mode, uh, model is that that is about the subject. What is the subject means? Subject means the starting point of the coaching session will be to identify and understand the subject and context of the discussion is there. Um, now, simple example I would like to give uh, that is the um, goal, goal is uh, uh, to be uh, achieve a particular target right and therefore, the target may be the um, uh, verifiable may be the non verifiable measurable or non measurable. For example, uh, I want to achieve uh, a particular position with the this much period of time right. So, therefore, then it will be measurable uh, that is the whether you have achieved a particular goal. In India normally you see that is the age whenever we talk about the goal the people link with the age is there that by this particular age I will be there the, uh, the people link with the money that I by the time of the retirement this much of money I will have. So, therefore, in that case uh, it is the subject in context of the discussion and from individual to individual and then uh, that will be decided uh, uh, on the basis of the, the what the person wants right. So, therefore, in the target identification is there as I was mentioning about it is a target uh, which was person wants to achieve. So, attainable target that is a realistic target is to be following the specific measurable accurate realistic and timely is there that is a smart is there. Mm, so, goal has to be specific it has to be measurable it has to be accurate realistic and the timely when the template for the goal setting is there. 
Now here the another important aspect is that is the emotions are there. They no 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 what drives a person? It is a motivation. And therefore, that particular motivation, the motivator, uh, that, that, that will be decided that is the how the person uh, will going by this uh, uh, to achieve this goal and on this particular journey. Now, this uh, perception refers to the understanding of the wider context of the mentee situation and the goal is there. That is how he is perceiving the things is there. It um, impacts the other people's emotions and go Now, you see, um, especially in Indian context, you see, that is the, the social uh, uh, development, uh, society, de uh, development in the society and that carries a lot of emotions. So, right from the childhood, uh, uh, you are supposed to take the responsibility of your parents, you, you, you understand it is one of the uh, your goals that is the that running the family with this uh, and taking care of the parents and uh, uh, maintaining this particular relationship in the society. <coughs> So, that is becoming the, it will now open the, uh, uh, always the, uh, is uh, uh, that emotions that will play. Now, uh, now, now people talk about that is whether the young generation, the current generation is able to carry those particular goals and emotions or not. So, this is the perception of the individual is there and it will impact the other people's emotions and goals uh, um, as I was giving example of the family similarly will be, it will be example for the organization also. That is the whether that particular subordinate and the superior relationship is there how it will impact these uh, emotions of the each other and then it will be open door for the next stage of the progress is there. And if it is matching that superior subordinate relationship is good, so progress uh, door will be open. Now, whenever we are talking about the plan, so once your goal is decided, you are emotionally connected, you perceive that yes, I will be able to, it is realistic also, achievable also, then definitely in that case, uh, you will decide that is the necessary to develop systematically organize the first steps along this set path is there. Now, the pace of the plan should be the decided through the setting time scales and deadlines for the completion of the each individual task within. For example, uh, the age, at the age of 45, I want, I, I want to be the CEO, then definitely in that case, that pace uh, with the given time that, that you have to decide about whether you are able to achieve or uh, not. Uh, so, um, three ways to become a better coach to your team and to yourself, uh, become a better listener is there, right. So, therefore, employees who feel their voice is heard are 4.6 times more likely to feel um, uh, empowered to do their best work according to this, uh, uh, the Salesforce survey featured in Forbes is there. The listening is the often forgotten skill that managers lack. Now, you see the, 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 the person who is at the position, no. So, he is uh, might be having the rich experience and therefore, the person who is listening, uh, uh, then in that case, uh, that mentee, he is uh, not that much uh, experience one is there. So, therefore, the experienced coach uh, uh, feels that that is the he is having the better exposure and therefore, uh, whatever the issues are raised uh, by the learner and they, they, they are not realistic. So, therefore, there in that case, th this uh, listening problem may be there by the coach. Mm, reject a premise, get a promise. We all have a premise, if you will, that reflects how we see the world. And, and that premise also called a perspective point of view is the reason we move towards our stay stuck. So, therefore, the coaches challenges the premise with the words of uh, Nelson Mandela, it seems impossible until it is done. Very motivating statement is there. Right, and therefore, in that case, it it is the uh, that it depends on that particular person. What is your premises? What is uh, your uh, 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 promise to yourself? Now, can we extend the premises? Yes, we extend the boundaries, right? And we extend emotional boundaries that that uh, uh, we can extend. And when we extending the emotional boundaries, and that is becoming the promise. So, therefore, in that case, uh, it, it is the whatever we want to do, the ro role of emotions and motivations that, that play a very, very important role. So, what is the safety and the biggest promise uh, you can keep is to uh, without judgment, no matter what comes out of their mouths, right. So, therefore, many times you see and the people forget about the difference between the criticism and the feedback is there. So, what no matter what comes out of their mouths, right, no issue is there. But that is uh, the impulse to correct, uh, fix and change is a strong one in effective managers. Now, now, now somebody is criticizing you. So, how will you respond? 
right. So, therefore, there are two R's react and respond. If you are reacting to that, then, then you are not uh, the having that uh, effective managerial shape. To have an effective managerial ship, your maturity is to digest uh, that particular criticism and on basis of that criticism, you are supposed to take the corrective actions. When you will take the corrective actions, then definitely your impulse to correct, correctiveness, punishment, I can punish, I can correct. What is your thought? What do you want? Whether you want to punish others or you want to correct others because things have been gone wrong that I agree, but then the question arises what is your approach and therefore, the coach uh, that, that uh, he should have that that is the corrective actions is required. Some of the coaching skills for managers are asking questions, uh, active listening is there, growth mindset is there, career development is there and self improvement is there and therefore, you see it is a part of the personality. And when in the past a part of the personality and the person's uh, uh, mindset, uh, now, now you see uh, a very, very important point. Some people are coach because of their bread and butter, because they were having those uh, you know, mark sheets with them, they were having those certificates with them. So, they compete and nobody can beat their mark sheets and therefore, they become the coach. Another important point is this that is the because of that growth mindset, because of that the soft skills, because of their um, perceptions and they are leading now as a coach is there right. So, therefore, what uh, from these uh, models we have understood whether it is a step uh, or the grow is there and what we understood that is what is required is that is it is required to develop the soft skills also. So, that we can have the proper listening and then can develop the individuals. Now, we will move to the another concept uh, that is the coaching is there. So, mentoring is a relationship in which a senior manager in an organization assumes the responsibility of the grooming a junior person and therefore, I was giving those examples of the um, Krishna and Arjun and Chanakya and Chandragupta and Dronacharya and Eklavya. So, therefore, now it is not only that coaching, but it is the mentoring. Right. So, that is a grooming of the personality that that plays a very, very important role is there because the coaching is restricting about developing that particular abilities. But when you are clubbing the coaching with the mentoring is there, so you are developing the overall personality. So, it is not only the knowledge and skills, uh, but it is also the attitude and behavior and that the person perceives from his mentor. So, a mentoring is a reciprocal and collaborative at will relationship, at will relationship, a beautiful uh, word has been used here that is the at will relationship is there, right. So, therefore, collaborative at will is there. Dear friends, uh, whenever we are talking about uh, this type of these, uh, uh, the mentoring process, Chanakya Chandra Gupta and uh, Sri Krishna Arjun Dhanachara Eklavya, right. So, therefore, in that case, that, that is the motivation level and that is becoming very, very important is there. And that most often occurs between a senior and the junior employee for the purpose of the mentee's growth, right, and learning and the career development is there. So, that, that is, it, these, are, these are in the context of the organization is there, but we, we can see the analogy uh, with uh, our uh, uh, the established mentors are there. Now, the career functions, uh, enhanced career advancement is that is a sponsorship is there, the exposure and the visibility is there, coaching, protection and the challenging assignments are there. So, therefore, in that case, uh, now no, you see this is a professional role because these are the functions uh, uh, which have been used uh, um, by the uh, position of uh, uh, that uh, 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 organization. Now, now you see that is uh, many times uh, who are the mentors? CEOs are the mentors and the, the who is the mentee? Mentee is the just a graduate passed or the postgraduate passed, undergraduate passed or the postgraduate passed person is the uh, mentee is there. Now, question arises that is the how coaching will be done by such a busy person right for that particular fresh mentee is there. So, therefore, what is required is this that is the that the coach should be that easily accessible and therefore, then it is not only the knowledge and experience, but it is the ability to connect with the mentee is important. The psychological functions uh, role, role modeling is there, acceptance and confirmation is there and the counseling is very, very important is there. So, therefore, in that case, uh, 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 that mentee, mentee looks to the role model into the mentor. 
that one day I will be like this, right? And that motivates a person. So therefore, if the uh, mentee, uh, uh, when he is attached to a mentor, and uh, uh, when he finds that is my mentor he is highly frustrated and uh, <laughs> not happy. And then he is saying, why you are coming to this particular role and all these things. So, how he can be the role modeling and the person is learning under that particular mentor, right. So, this is a big challenge is there and therefore, in that case we have to understand that is that relationship and fixing up the mentor mentor relationship that is becoming very, very important. Now, here it is the mentoring is the one on one mentoring is there and therefore, this type of the mentoring is the most traditional of all the types of mentoring is there. Only the mentor and mentee are involved in this type of mentoring is there and therefore, in that case uh, I think that is the this is becoming a very, very um, important process of mentoring. Right. So, when, but if it, it shifts to the group mentoring is there, now one or several mentors work with a group of mentees are there and then in that case, uh, it, 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 will, it, it will be uh, a, a more uh, complex, complex mentoring. Why? Because then you have to identify the CEO in that particular group and therefore, there, there are the several mentees are there and you, then you have to find out that is who is the right mentee uh, because that uh, one to one mentee relationship that will develop by selecting from this group mentoring is there. So, for a whole group uh, if they are going through the process that is a, it is a group process is there and it is not one to one uh, mentoring. So, peer mentoring is there, the same role or department are have shared or similar experiences and whether in their professional or the personal lives are there and normally what the people, people they compare, they compare themselves with the contemporary uh, their peers and therefore, the peer learning is becoming very, very important. So, therefore, in uh, many times they develop, develop the positive strength, they develop the uh, that particular uh, uh, relationship with the peers and they learn from each other. So, peer learning that is becoming very, very important. Uh, simple example is in the school days, uh, you find that is the friends are there, the schoolmates are there and they are learning from each other because they, that time there is no ego, there is no hesitation. Um, that is how I can learn from my peer itself, right. So, therefore, in that case that peer mentoring and that is becoming a very, very important is there. Now, when you have talking about the mentoring techniques of the models are there, speed mentoring is there and a speed dating and usually occurs as a part of the corporate event or the conference is there, right. And that is why you know, this participation in the conference. So, when you are talking about the peer mentoring is there, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, uh, if you uh, if you give the mentee has a series of one or one conversation with a set of different mentors and usually moves from one mentor to the next after a brief meeting is there. So, therefore, these conferences are having this importance. Many times you find it is the, these uh, further research scholars uh, that publication of the papers is uh, compulsory and therefore, in that case it is even also seen that is the which conferences they hold attended because when they attend the conference they see the number of mentors they interact with them or even they personally do not interact they find that is the there are mentors who are giving them the different uh, um, messages and therefore when he, the, he, he, he when he returns from the conference he is having the collective wisdom the reverse mentoring is there nowadays whenever we are talking on recently I conducted uh, uh, one uh, uh, training program on the reverse mentoring, uh, reverse mentoring uh, uh, for one PSU and therefore, in that case it is the, the senior professionals mentoring M major junior employees, the junior employee mentors a more senior professional and normally nowadays it is happening in the area of the technology is uh, concerned and therefore, the seniors uh, executives they do not know how to operate uh, or understand many softwares or technology technological aspects and the juniors those who are joined to them and they are having the much more uh, better knowledge uh, than the uh, with the seniors and therefore, they give the training to them. For the younger or more junior professionals to teach the skills or a new application or technology to the more senior one is there and therefore, in that case the reverse mentoring is there. Now, the merits and demerits of the mentoring is an, an excellent opportunity to learn. It may create the feelings of jealousy among quickly through continuous interaction and other workers who are not able to show equally good performance is there and therefore, in that case uh, it, it, it is always, always uh, uh, however, I, I feel that is it is an ex excellent opportunity to learn. And uh, now, because the, this this type of these uh, feelings, uh, 
because at the learning stage, at the beginning of the stage, uh, this this may be there, but with the period of time, uh, this can be balanced, and then they understand that is it is mutual. Mutual learning is there, so it will it will not go during the process of mentoring. After mentoring, it may go uh, up to a certain extent, but I don't think that is in the process of the mentoring. Uh, it uh, if the mentor is uh, capable enough, he will control on um, this type of the issues, and the team building will be developed. Uh, so through continuous interaction, who are not able to show equally good performances there. So, they, so here then the peers mentoring, we have talked about the peers mentoring. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, I would uh, this de demerit uh, that that can be compensated by the peer mentoring is there. Constant guidance helps the mentee advantage is there. Right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, it is always available, mentor is always available. From overly strong bonds with be on track, uh, using facilities to good trainees, unwanted favoritism may result. So, therefore, in that case, uh, uh, if he is having the very, very strong bonds with a particular mentee, then definitely in that case, the more benefits will be given to him. Uh, this can have a demoralizing effect on other workers and affecting their work performance in a negative way is there. So, therefore, in that case, uh, uh, many times what happens? Uh, that is the like the uh, uh, relationships. So therefore, the relationships, uh, whether it is the blood relationships uh, or um, it is the mental relationship, is there. If it is developed, then definitely that will be the uh, demerit will be there. So, meaning is uh, in the coaching is uh, mostly based on the present at the goal set by a coach or based on things you can do at present. Mentor can be your father, mother or friend or a person who is more experienced than you at a particular thing is there, right. So, therefore, in that case uh, mm, uh, that, that, that is the coaching is uh, coming towards the more towards the professional skills development while the mentoring is done, it is more towards the societal responsibility. Mm, orientation is the particular task in the coaching, it is the mentoring is that is the relationship between the mentor and mentee is important. Emphasize in the coaching is on the performance because he has to deliver the task, achieve the goals while in the mentoring is it is about the career, there is a growth, growth and development. And the time horizon is the short term, mentoring is for the long term is there. Specialization, a coach who imparts coaching has expertise in the concerned field, mentor having the good knowledge and experience is there. So, therefore, the coaching is becoming more sort of the formal uh, relationship with the uh, learner while the when talk about the mentoring, in the mentoring it is becoming the more informal uh, relation, uh, informal uh, type of the mentoring because that is the relationship is developed and it, 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 it is not just for the one time is there. In the coaching it, it is the one time the, 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 uh, the learner is developing the relationship and then uh, uh, he is having uh, uh, that uh, particular um, uh, task is accomplished and then, the, then there will be the uh, no relationship is there. But in the case of the mentoring, but the coach can be mentor also and mentor can be the coach also, right. So, therefore, uh, 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 please understand that it, it is not in isolation, that is one is the coach, another is mentor, right. So, one can be the coach and mentor both also and therefore, in that case, uh, so what will happen that is the, uh, the merits of both will be applicable and the demerit of one that will be compensated by the merit of the other is concerned. So, training, coaching and mentoring is concerned that ask direct you questions, provides information, seek specific answers, often highly structured. The mentor is uh, direct questions, provides the information sources and seeks uh, uh, that alternate answers uh, structured based on the past experiences there. Uh, ask open questions, enable self-discovery, uh, dispels false feeling and beliefs can be applied to any situation that is a future focused is there. Six things the great mentors do differently is there. Good mentors should believe in their mentees enough to take risk for uh, for them, right? And therefore, in that case, uh, this is the very very um, uh, important point, right? That is, the mentees uh, uh, can take uh, the risk for them also. Great mentors present challenges, uh, success of their mentees, and often that means the pushing them beyond their expectations, right? So that premises. If you remember, we have talked about the premises. We have talked about uh, the promises we will talk about uh, uh, that is the emotional premises, right. So, therefore, the great mentor what he does, he extends those premises. So, if the person believes that no, I can go up to this extent only, then he extend the man, good mentor extends him to the beyond the boundaries are there, what they what has been uh, created by the mentee by oneself. The great mentors are emotionally intelligent, so therefore, you know, open minded and inquisitive, listening well and reading the body language correct, correctly. 
right and therefore in that case because they create the perception uh, now as a, as you see there are the 10 mentees are there and from the body language you develop that is the who will be the right mentee for, for the, this particular mentor is there have the experience there mentees want on surface this one probably seems obvious i think many mentees go wrong is looking at this in a general sense rather than focusing on the specifics are there so therefore in that case uh, men mentors uh, they, they know that is what their mentee wants great mentors do not uh, uh, the sugar coat their failings when you are in a mentorship role it, it can be tempting to be the all knowing all powerful and uh, then being your mentee sees you as right so therefore in that case uh, he 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 and understands that for my every problem there is a solution to, to with my mentor. Great mentor says no, in forced mentorship situation may find it difficult to set boundaries, but in all circumstances it is the ability to say no that makes a mentor truly effective is there. So many times it is the, the mentor should learn that is this is not possible and whenever when, when, when he says that this is not possible then in that case uh, he has to understand that is the uh, how he can develop uh, uh, that uh, tendency uh, that is the, 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 the mentor will not be into the wrong impression and the mentor will say that is uh, he is able to say the no. So, um, this is uh, um, uh, all about uh, what we have talked about uh, uh, the coaching and mentoring is there. So, leader uh, <coughs> when he is developing that particular uh, relationship uh, with the mentee uh, as a coach and as a mentor, so then who can stop further having the great uh, team effectiveness. As usual, these are the case studies we talk about. And then you can go through this. This is the uh, the research paper, leadership coaching on the leadership behavior, right? This paper you can refer, and this is the book uh, which will be helping you to understand more uh, about the coaching and uh, mentoring is concerned, uh, and to be effective guide is concerned. And uh, as usual, these are the references. Mm, these references uh, for this particular study material and for your further studies. So, it is all about uh, uh, to be the great uh, coach and mentor. Thank you.